Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to KJ and Shim Sham. Welcome to another exciting edition of KJ Goes Out for a Walk and Talks to You Forever. That's the working title. So today I wanted to give everybody a little update on what's been going on in my day to day. We are working kind of tirelessly on um, self-discovery and uh, digging deep into some old traumas that have created um, created some rifts in my ability to feel confident in my decision making process and also to feel as though I have the freedom to do the things that I want without feeling like I'm taking up too much space or stepping on other people's toes. So that is a big thing we're working through for the month of February. Also, let's just, just secondary update. I'm really happy with the way that my self-made haircut that I also had my partner Jason help me with a little bit in the back. We kind of cut a cool little like, like partial like mohawk, like tail thing in the back. And I just feel so much more like me. I have been trying to grow my hair out for a while and I knew that I really wanted to give it a go, but um, the sides in the back of my head were just making me feel not like me. It didn't feel, frankly, it didn't feel edgy enough. It didn't feel like how I feel inside. And I really, really wanted to go to that. And that was something that I also wanted to carry into 2021, to make decisions that were ultimately for myself. And I am really happy with the result. I really feel like it turned out the way that I wanted it to in the end. Um, and it was, it was worth it. It was really, really worth it. I'm very happy I did it. And that is really the point I'm trying to make today is that I'm working on making better decisions that are specifically about me. You know, I'm, I'm making decisions that are specifically about bettering myself and my own life and going after the things that I always felt like I couldn't, I wasn't allowed to. And being more open and honest with myself and being more myself is helping me in my day-to-day -day life. For example, I recently started to be a little bit more forthright with my identity and using my pronouns more openly with people outside of my inner circle and telling people that I have started using KJ as my name. And it is going better than I expected. Um, I definitely had some fear and some lack of trust wrapped up in the idea that if I was more myself, if I dressed and behaved the way that I wanted to behave and explored the parts of my identity that I wanted to explore, that I was somehow going to be rejected. I wasn't going to be accepted within the professional field that I have chosen. And there is still a chance that that can happen. That fear is not unfounded. Not everybody will always be so open. And that can be really tough, you know? It can be really tough to contend with. And also, in some situations, can be very dangerous. And I do want to advocate for being open and honest and living as your most authentic self. That can be difficult to say. Most authentic. But sometimes, living as your most authentic self can be scary and dangerous and... I am hoping through this process and also other processes in my life and other endeavors that I'm creating spaces that people can feel safe and comfortable to be themselves so they can find that confidence and they can find that group of people, that special chosen family that will help them feel confident and comfortable in who they are. So this month we're focusing on a lot more mindfulness and meditation, just like last month, but for the month of February, I'm getting back into my daily yoga practice. I will be posting videos from Yoga with Adrienne's yoga series, uh, her beginning of this year series that I did not do in January, so I'm doing in February. I'm hopeful that some of you will come on that journey with me. Um, it's been a really powerful tool of finding more movement within my own body, of feeling more comfortable with myself, and also more comfortable with exploration. And in a lot of ways, kind of help you be with finding my identity more. I know, right? So this week, I'm curious to know if anybody else is finding some groove with their, their journey, with their self-discovery, with whatever it is that they 
decided was going to be important to them, or if you're currently making some of those decisions right now and what you're using and how you're making those decisions for yourself. I'm very curious and I'd love to hear from some of you. And Mama Shimshan, same for you. I'd love to hear how you are continuing to find accountability with your goals and also how you're working through the struggles because we all got struggles. But thank you so much all for coming on this walk with me today. I enjoyed having you all and I hope you enjoyed listening and that this helped you in some way and gave you some ideas for how you can continue to learn and grow throughout this coming year. So thank you once again. Have a great rest of the week and bye.